Hey guys, this is part 4 of the Java game programming tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to fire bullets from your player using keyboard input. Before we get started, I'm going to edit some things in game panel Java. Here we set player private. We're going to make this public static so that everyone can see the player and over here we are going to create a new file bullet.java obviously this is where we're gonna put the bullet code so go ahead and import star and let's create the class um, now we're going to have a couple of fields here. We're going to use double for the x and y because now we're dealing with um, radians, angles, so we need doubles for those. We need radian. Uh, we need speed. Also dx and dy. And possibly, uh, let's get, make these private for now. Okay. And um, we need also need a color, or basic bullet color. And now for the constructor, public bullet. Here we're gonna do, we're gonna give it a couple things. Angle, starting position. So x is gonna be this dot x is x, this dot y is y. Um, radius is gonna be two. Small, keep it small. Um, dx and dy we're going to set after radius, so radius, radians, I mean, going to be math that two radians angle, using a little bit of trig, I hope you know that x is cosine angle, or radians, and dy is sine radians, okay, and that's pretty much it. Color and speed is going to be 15. We want this thing to be moving fast. Color is going to be yellow. Okay, so let's continue with our functions here. Again, we're going to have update, and again, we're going to have draw. Graphics 2D, G. So for update, it's simple, it's just x plus equals dx and y plus equals dy. We're actually going to return a boolean here. Um, false is the default return value, but if we need to remove the bullet, like if it goes out of bounds or if it hits an enemy, then we want to take it off the list. So in that case, we want to return true. So let's just do bounds checking for now. If x is less than minus r or x is greater than game panel dot width plus r or y is less than minus r or y is greater than game panel dot height plus r, then we will be returning true. Down here in draw, simple. Set the color to the bullet color and fill oval. We have to cast the int x minus r, y minus r, and 2 times r. That's it for bullet for now. Let's go back to game panel. And here we're going to create a public static array list of bullets. We'll just call it bullets. Down here in run, we're going to initialize it, array list, type bullet, and 
update. Of course, everything has to go in update and render, otherwise you won't see it in the game. Um, Bullets.size And we're going to be... Remember, update returns a boolean, so boolean remove bullets.getI.update And if we want to remove the bullet, we have to do bullets.removeI and go back one. Same thing for game render. We want to draw all the bullets. So bullets that size I plus plus and just simply bullets that draw. Now we want to actually be able to fire some stuff. So let's go ahead into the key pressed. If key code is equal to key event dot vk z I like using the z button to fire and we're going to create a new function set firing for a player same thing with key released except false now if we go back into player here obviously we're going to need some firing variables boolean firing we need a firing timer and we need a firing delay. We don't want the player to just constantly be firing bullets, that's kind of cheap. So up here in update we are going to put over here at the bottom some firing. If we are firing um, then we have to check how much time has gone by since the last fire error, uh, since the last shot, and we want that in milliseconds, so divide by a million. Um, next we want to compare if elapse is greater than the firing delay that we gave, then let's go ahead and fire one. Game panel .bullets .add new bullet. Um, and for bullet, the arguments we gave for the constructor were the angle, 270 is straight up, and the player's position, x and y. And we want to reset the firing timer. So let's go ahead and go back to the constructor here and initialize those values. Firing is false, firing timer is the current time and firing delay let's say 200 milliseconds so five shots per second should be fine okay and that looks like it could be it game panel everything looks right let's try to compile this ooh got some errors array list cannot find array list right you have to import Util, and I'm still having problems. All oh, right, set firing. I forgot to set the create the setter for firing variable. So boolean b firing equals b. That's pretty much it. Anything else? I don't think so. Bullets dot draw. I did make a draw function here. Oh, not bullets.draw, bullets.getI.draw, individual bullet class. So that should be it. Okay, let's run. And Z is firing extremely slowly. What's going on there? I set the speed to 15. Right, the X has to be time speed. Because right now it's moving at unit speed, one pixel. So go ahead, put speed above the DX and DY, and then just multiply that by speed. Go ahead and compile and run. And there we go. Now we need to do one more thing. We need to check if our bullets are actually being removed. So go ahead and render. We're going to draw string num bullets and then bullets.
bullets that size 10 20 just to see that we're not using up too much memory we want our bullets to actually be going down so here you can see the bullets are actually getting removed so that's good that's enough for this video in the next video i will show you how to create enemies and do some collision checking thanks for watching see you in the next one